Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I have an update on what I've been wearing on my nails recently and more not recently, which has been like a month since my last weekly manis. There hasn't really been any reason besides we've been super busy. So I think like once this spring hit, it was just like we had so much traveling to do and so much stuff to do in our yard. We planted our garden. We have done so many things. So that is just why I've been so busy. There's no other reason besides that. So I wanted to come on and show you guys what I've been wearing the last kind of three weeks, month-ish. I haven't really been painting my nails every day or maybe every few days and sometimes I've had naked nails but I wanted to show you the polishes that I have worn. So let's get right into it. So these probably won't be in order, but starting off with a polish I wore about a month ago for my sister's bachelorette trip, which was like an extended long weekend away um, in the northern part of the state. I wore this and I really, really liked it. This is Different Dimension Celestial. I had gotten this from Polish Con last year summer I guess it was polish con and I had never worn it yet so, so I wanted to wear something that was a little bit more interesting than just a cream polish so this one celestial is a duochrome between blue and kind of like a purple almost like a tealy blue and a purple and it has flakies of hollow in it so I was really excited about this I didn't have too much problem with application it was a little thicker than I would have liked but the only problem I had with this one was was after a few days it popped right off my nails. I didn't bring anything with me like to the trip to do my nails or remove my polish and it ended up coming off like popping off every single nail in like a full sheet which I'm not sure why I had base coat and top coat on so so for the future I probably wouldn't wear this for an extended weekend now that I know that it does that but I still really liked the color so that is different dimension celestial. Another one that I pulled out, this one is really bright, it's really pretty. We kind of did not transition from winter to summer. It's still it's still technically spring right now, but it's in the 90s and we went directly from snow to like 80s and 90s. So there's not a lot of pastels that I wore. I went right into bright polishes and this is one of them. This is OPI's Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet from the Fiji Collection. I had worn this polish once before at a nail salon and really liked it, so I finally picked it up. It is like a bright, sunshiny yellow. It does need three coats, but I really, really love the color of this polish. So that, again, is OPI's Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. I do have a couple of pastels that I threw in there. Sorry, that was Millie rubbing on the tripod. This one is another one that I had worn from like the days that I got acrylics on my nails and I really, really love the color. This is OPI's I'm Getting a Tangerine. I was on a mission to collect all the polishes from this collection. I think it was a summer one, and I think I'm just missing one of them, and I love all the colors. They're just so pretty for summer and spring. This is like a kind of like a pale cantaloupe color, and I really, really enjoy it. It's not too terrible to work with. It's like two to three coats on the nails, but I really, really love the color of this one. So that again is OPI's I'm Getting a Tangerine. Speaking of summer brights, this one I pulled out because it is one of my favorite coral pol- ow, scratch me. One of my favorite coral polishes ever. I just reach for this one so often because I really like OPI and I really like corals. This one is OPI's Live Love Carnival from the Brazil collection. That's a few years old now but I still really always love that collection. This one especially is just like the perfect coral cream polish. Really can't go wrong with it. It's beautiful in two coats, easy to work with. So that again is OPI's Live Love Carnival. You happy, Tuki? 
I also have been trying out the OPI Grease Collection. I kind of am slow on the uptake on that because it just didn't really excite me that much. There's kind of like half of the polishes are dupes of other existing OPI colors so that was disappointing to me so I've slowly been working my way through the grease collection and I plan on doing a review hopefully next week I want to get all the colors swatched I've done about a quarter of them which isn't that many but it is a 12 piece collection plus three of like the leather finish so the first one I actually wore was the red even though I don't really like red nails but for some reason when I see someone with really pretty red nails I want to wear them so this one from the grease collection is OPI's tell me about it stud I'm not going to go into too much review on the grease ones because I think I have four of them in here, but I really like this. It's a cooler toned red, really pretty, really good formula. So that again is tell me about a stud. The second one I wore from this collection, I also really enjoyed. This one is OPI's Teal Me More, Teal Me More. Also from the Grease Collection. I really liked this color. It's not necessarily like a spring or summer color, but it worked when it was still like cold <laughs> in the spring for here. And I really liked it. The formula is really good and it's a really pretty color. Next up, I did pull out these two polishes. I actually put this one on because I can't shorten my nails without having a polish on because I keep them so square that it's hard for me to tell if they're straight or not. So that's Millie again. So I put this one on just so I could have like some color on my nails to tell if I was keeping them straight or not. You can tell in the swatch photo that my nails are super, super long, way too long for my preference, but I put this one on. This is OPI's Rosy Future. This one is a sheer polish and I don't remember where I got it, but I've actually used it quite a bit. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the bottle, but it's actually got some use on it because I really like it. This was my good luck polish for my last interview for the job I have now and I really just kind of, it makes it sentimental to me. So this one is interesting because it's sheer, but it also has like a little bit of, not a shimmer in it, but almost like a color flip in it to a little bit of purple so it is that sheer pink but you can tell it's got a little bit of a purple shift in it which I really like so I wore that for a day and And then once I had shortened my nails to like non-claws, I did add this polish on in dots. This is Essie's Demure Vix. This is in my project polish, which I'm doing terrible on, but I have used them a few times. This one is almost done. I just don't care for the color, but I actually really liked these two together. The dots were very similar in color, but not too similar that you couldn't tell they were there. So that again is OPI's Rosy Future with Essie's Demure Vix. Next up we have what I wore to another trip we took. We actually went to Chicago, which is not uncommon for us, but for my birthday in January I had gotten tickets for the Wizard of Oz on Broadway, so of course I had to wear this on my nails. This is China Glaze Ruby Pumps. It is like the perfect Dorothy's slippers polish and it's gorgeous. Every time I wear it, I forget about how much I really like it. So I just, it's just such a good classic polish. So that is two coats of Ruby Pumps. More recently, I have been painting my nails a little bit more often, like every day or every other day. So what I wore last weekend, which was actually at my sister's bridal shower in Iowa, we have just been taking so many trips this spring, more than we've ever done. And so this one I put on my nails because I wasn't sure what I was going to be wearing for the actual bridal shower. I had two different options. One was a black and white dress and one was a pink dress with like a tropical print on it. Which I really didn't know what to wear. So I threw this one on from the Grease Collection. This is OPI's Frenchie Likes to Kiss. 
and I ended up falling in love with this color. It is just like the palest, palest, like grayed out lavender. It does have a little bit of shimmer in the bottle of like a pink to purple shimmer, but you really can't tell that on the nail. On the nail, it just looks like a purple cream. It did need three coats, but it held up beautifully from like Thursday through Sunday. And so I was very impressed with this polish. So that again is from the Grease Collection. OPI's Frenchie likes to kiss. Next up is a bright polish that I found just randomly in my craft room. We have been preparing for a garage sale, which is like town wide next weekend. And so we've been doing that. I was cleaning out the craft room and I found a bunch of Ciate polishes that my mom had gotten me. And this one is Ciate's Cha Cha Cha. So this polish I had just randomly found and the color just kind of spoke to me. I had to put it on that night. So this is Ciate's Cha Cha Cha. It is almost like a neon jelly orange. In most lights though, it's not like super neon. It only really is neon in the sun, which I can appreciate. So it is a jelly polish, which I don't necessarily love, but sometimes with like reds and oranges that are jellies, I really like them, and this was one of them. So first of all, I mean the bottle is just super cute. It came with a glitter that was exactly the same color, but I didn't want to make a mess of everything, so I just stuck to this. I only used two coats for my swatch photos, and you can see a little bit of visible nail line, but I honestly don't mind. So I actually really liked this color and was glad that I found it. That again is Ciate's Cha Cha Cha. Next up and second to last is what I had on my nails yesterday. I actually tried to film this video yesterday and it was kind of a train wreck. But this is another one from the Grease Collection and this is OPI's You're the Shade That I Want. This one I'm not too like over the moon about. It's very dupable, especially in OPI's offerings before they've had one from like the Mustang collection that looks similar to this. I'm not too big of a fan of these like medium kind of cool toned pinks. I don't know. They're just not my cup of tea. I mean, it was pretty and I got compliments on it, but I don't know. It's just not really special to me. I prefer a medium warm toned pink, but the formula was really good. Two coats, and so I didn't really have any issues with it besides it just wasn't my favorite color to wear. So that again is OPI's You're the Shade That I Want. And last up, I have what is on my nails today. This is one of my favorites from the last month, actually. I have this one on. It is China Glazes Whip It Good. This one I picked up off a website like when I just did a bulk nail polish order a while back. I thought the color was really pretty. It's kind of like a weird kind of strange color, but I like these chartreuse colors. It's almost like a neon pastel lemon lime color, if that makes sense. It's really not like green or yellow. If I had to pick, I would choose yellow, but it's definitely got a lot of green in it. I was really happy with this. I don't really want to take it off of my nails, but I really enjoyed it. It did need three coats, but it wasn't too bad. It didn't dry matte or anything like that. And so I really, really like this color, especially for this time of year. So that again is China Glaze Whip It Good. That is everything in, I guess, last month's manis. I tried to look at my Instagram and get every single polish that I've worn in the last month on there, and I think I did pretty well. I normally always post my nails on Instagram if I'm not keeping up with YouTube or stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I wore on my nails the last month. I'm sorry that it's been so long since my last video. It's just been craziness in this household. So thank you guys as always for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.